It's Jorge from Team JVS giving you a quick exclusive premiere of a movie we were able to see at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival called Miranda's Victim. This movie is probably right now my, my number one seed for the movies that we've seen at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Um, this is about as close to a, a 10 out of 10 as you can get. Um, the synopsis of this movie is, in 1963, 18 year old Patricia Ware is kidnapped and brutally raped. Committed to putting her attacker Ernesto Miranda in prison, Trisha's life is destroyed by American's legal system as she triggers a law that transforms the nation. Overall, this movie is, is gut-wrenching. Um, it it talks about a a subject which is seldomly talked about and it does it in such an elegant way and in such a way where the actual rape isn't the the point of the story like the it's not glorified um lately you know whenever you see like a mass shooting or something crazy happens like these people get on like the front page and all this stuff and and this doesn't do that um, obviously this shows it from the victim's point of view, all the things that, that she's been going through and it's, it's just the acting and, and, uh, the amount of stars that are in this movie are, are phenomenal. Um, but then you talk about like the acting in it, like it, it was just so, so well done to the different dynamics that you get, you know, and obviously you got to remember this is back in the sixties. Um, like what you know patricia did like m removing the movie aside like it is phenomenal um but the way that they portrayed it inside of the movie is is so well done um and when you kind of start going through the list of you know like the different actors that were in this movie and, and the role that they played um it, it's just it's very impressive and you start looking at uh, you know, like the role that her mother played versus the role that her sister played. Um, the role that, you know, like, kind of like the first guy she thought was cute played. And, and once the information comes out, how, how all that changes, like how she puts so much at risk just to, to get justice. This movie, I guess, from, from my, from start to finish was just outstanding. Um, the music was well done the the way they made you feel in this movie was top notch um the way that you kind of get engulfed and you really start to feel what these people are feeling it, it's it's very unique and you know it's definitely a it's not a happy go lucky story um and obviously this is this is all based on on true events so you know it, it it's not like i can spoil what happens but it it's very unique how everything plays in this movie um and it it's just done so well um i definitely i mean i cannot recommend this movie more um you know this and I know some of the, the complaints that I've heard is like, you you kind of, they make it seem like a, you know, dramatic, like detective story or something like that. And it, it's not about that at all. Um, and for people who thought that that was what they were getting into, like that, that's not at all it. Um, you know, you, you kind of see this, this girl become a woman and become a woman into her own. And just seeing her, persevere through all these all these things that are stacked against her and I think that's the beauty of of this movie is you have someone who who is risking it all and the only person who's going to get affected by it is herself 
but she risks it all for the betterment of other people. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I watched this and it took me a, a couple of days where I've been digesting it to try to put a review into place. And it's just hard. I mean, other than just saying this is, this is a solid, like a solid must watch movie. Um, like there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Like it, it is a, a beautifully done movie. Um, this right now is, is easily my first 10 out of 10 of the year. Like this was just, this was great. Um, you know, I, I definitely think that if you have the opportunity to see this or you get the the chance to see that, go see it. Um, this actually just got released um, February 8th of, uh, you know, uh, 2023 here recently. So it's out there for you to see. So don't don't sleep on this because it's it's definitely this is one that be on the lookout for it. Um, <sighs> Yeah, like this one, it was just, it was so well done. I, I cannot, I, I cannot ex express that enough. Like I'm, I'm still, and it's funny because it's been a couple days since I've seen it, but it, it's still that impactful. And, and you start thinking about different, different characters or different scenes that happen. And it's just like, it, it almost like entwines you back into this story. And, and throughout the whole story, you're, you find yourself cheering for you know um the prosecutors and, and you find yourself villainizing like you know the the defense attorney and it's just it's it's like they pull on so many emotions and so many strings like this is incredibly done and i i cannot speak more highly of this movie um you know the director i believe it was michelle uh danner she did she did a wonderful job in in capturing in capturing the emotions without having to explicitly show it. Um, you know, this was this was just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, like I said, definitely go watch this, go check it out. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, when you go, do see it. Like I would love to hear other people's opinions. But, you know, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, um, and yeah, let us know what you think. But on that note, we'll see you next time. Peace.